In this video, we're continuing on with the CUDA software free worksheet classifying triangles. You can find this worksheet within the geometry section. Picking up where we left off with number 7, we're going to classify each triangle by each angles and sides. So remember, there's two separate ways to classify a triangle. You can classify triangles by angles, those angles being acute, obtuse, and right. Now remember, for an acute triangle, all three angles must be an acute. For an obtuse triangle, one angle must be obtuse. And for a right triangle, one angle must be 90 degrees or a right angle. When classifying by sides, we have scalene, isosceles, and equilateral. For scalene, no sides or zero sides have equal lengths. For isosceles, two sides have equal lengths. And for equilateral, all three sides have equal lengths. Now that we've reviewed that, let's look at number seven. In number seven, looking at the sides, we can see that 8.6 is equal to 8.6, which is equal to 8.6. So all three sides are the same measure. Therefore, this is an equilateral triangle. For number 8, we're looking at 6.1, which is not equal to 8.7. 6.1 is also not equal to 7.4, and 8.7 does not equal 7.4. Therefore, no sides have equal length, so we know that this is at least a scalene. Now we're going to look at the angles. 57 degrees is less than 90 degrees, so it's acute. 79 is less than 90 degrees, so that is acute. And 44 is also less than 90 degrees, so that is acute. Since all three angles are acute, this is an acute triangle. More accurately, it is an acute scalene triangle. And number 9, 11.2 does not equal 13.2, and it also doesn't equal 7. And 13.2 does not equal 7. Therefore, no sides are equal in measure, so we have a scalene. And you can see that we have an angle that is 90 degrees. Therefore, this is a right scalene triangle. And number 10, 2.5 is equal to 2.5. So we have two sides of equal measure. And 4.5 does not equal either of those. So it is only two sides of equal measure. And this angle 128 is greater than 90 degrees. So it is obtuse. And since we have two sides of equal measure, this is going to be an obtuse isosceles triangle because one angle is obtuse and two sides are equal in measure. In number 11, right away, we can see that 4.8 is equal to 4.8, but neither equal 3. So we have two sides of equal measure. 36 degrees is less than 90 degrees. 72 is less than 90 degrees. And 72 is less than 90 degrees. So since all three angles are acute, this is an acute triangle. And since two sides are equal in measure, this is an isosceles triangle. So we have an acute isosceles triangle. And the last problem for this set of directions, number 12. Number 12, we can see that we already have a right triangle marked. And 4.8 is equal to 4.8 but neither equal 6.8. So we have two sides that have equal lengths and we have a right angle. Therefore, this is a right isosceles. For numbers 13 through 18, we're going to classify each triangle by each angles and sides. Equal sides and equal angles, if any, are going to be indicated in each diagram. So for number 13, we can see that no sides are equal in measure, so this is at least a scalene. And looking more closely, we can see that this angle is obtuse, because if we were to attempt to draw a 90 degree angle, 90 degrees would be approximately here. So you can see that this goes past 90 degrees and is therefore obtuse. So this is an obtuse scalene triangle.
One way to think about 90 degrees is take the corner of a piece of paper. A paper is in the shape of a rectangle and we know that each side is 90 degrees. So when you line that corner up, if you can see one of the lines, you know that it's greater than 90 degrees. If you can't see either of the lines, you know it's less than 90 degrees. And if the lines directly line up with the corner, you know that it is 90 degrees. So that's just a helpful hint for figuring out whether an angle is acute, obtuse, or right. And number 14, we have that two sides are equal in measure. So we know that this is an isosceles triangle. We can see in number 14 that these two congruent angles are both acute and our final angle is also acute because it is less than 90 degrees. Therefore, this is an acute isosceles triangle. In number 15, we have an indicated angle of 90 degrees. So this is a right triangle and no sides are indicated that they're equal in measure, so this is scalene. Therefore, we have a right scalene triangle. In number 16, none of the sides are indicated to be equal in measure, therefore we have a scalene. This angle is acute, this angle is also acute since it's less than 90 degrees, and finally our third angle is acute because it is also less than 90 degrees. Therefore in number 16, we have an acute scalene. In number 17, we have two sides of equal measure, and this angle is obtuse because it is greater than 90 degrees. So this is going to be an obtuse isosceles triangle because we have one angle that is obtuse and two sides of equal length. And lastly in this video, we'll go over number 18. However, before I go over the answer to this, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In number 18, we have two indicated sides of equal length. We also have a right angle. Therefore, this is a right isosceles for number 18. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I or one of your peers will get back to you as soon as possible.